Hello and welcome to the LC Foods Test Kitchen in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm the owner and developer of LC Foods. Today we'll be making low-carb white bread for you using the LC white bread mix. This is easy to do. We wanted to show you a video so we can uh, show you how simple and easy this is for you to do at home. The yeast is very important uh, that you select it correctly when making LC Foods white bread mix. Choose your yeast as instant, rapid rise, or bread machine yeast. So let's get started. First of all, get a bowl and put your uh, LC Foods white bread mix into the bowl. We're going to add to that two tablespoons of yeast. We're going to stir this in with a whisk. Add to this three quarters cups of warm water, room temperature water or warm water. We just don't want ice cold water. Also add three tablespoons and two teaspoons of melted unsalted butter and two and a half teaspoons of coconut oil or a non-hydrogenated oil of your choice. A dough scraper comes in very handy at this point where we're going to begin to move the flour into the liquid and bring the ingredients together. Once you get to a certain point, you will have to get your hands into it and begin to knead the dough. into a nice dough ball. The next step is to knead the dough and for this if you're going to manually knead you'll want to wet a paper towel, place it down on your counter, put a cutting board over the wet paper towel and this will keep your cutting board from slipping as you're trying to knead. Take your dough, place it onto the cutting board and begin to press, fold, press, fold, turn the dough if you find that the dough is a little uh, too dry you can add a little more water at this time you still have three tablespoons reserved other choices are to put it into a bread machine and put it on the kneading cycle but be careful not to over knead with a bread machine. Another choice is to use a food processor which I will show you next. We can see here when we open the dough that we are looking for gluten to be developed in the dough and if I can push my finger through the gluten is not formed yet. So this dough is not ready we need to develop the gluten. Again, you can push your finger through like that. It is breaking and it is not, the gluten is not developed. Now we will show you how to knead the dough with a food processor. This is our food processor and inside we have an S-blade. Place the S-blade into the food processor. Standing by is the extra three tablespoons of water reserved that we're going to be adding as we use the food processor. Take your dough and split it into a couple or three pieces and place it into the food processor. Begin to knead the dough and as you can see, if you look at the dough, it's still a little bit dry. So we're going to begin to add a little more water to uh, help bring the dough together. One. Two. We'll watch for looks like it will 
take most of the third one. You can see the dough is starting to come together. So let's check the dough now and see if we have developed our gluten. You can see it comes off the blade. It's not too wet. And now we're going to check it. The dough is lighter now, fluffier. And we're going to see if we can get our fingers to come through. We're still breaking a little bit, but you can see the difference from the last, the last time where we pushed right through. So a little bit more. We don't want to overdo it because if we heat our dough, then it's not going to rise properly and make us a nice bread. So just a little more. That's probably going to be it. Get the blade out of there. Get your dough. Bring it open. I can see that my finger is making a stained glass. And you can see that the dough is now set and has its gluten developed. Perfect, and we are now ready to start rising the dough. Now that we're ready to rise the yeast, we want to set our oven to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees centigrade. I do this on my oven by turning to the warm setting. The A in warm on my particular stove allows for the bottom of the oven to be around 85 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius. If you don't have an oven that will do this, you can also put this in a closed environment and just keep it warm. So now that we have our bread dough finished and our oven is preheated to 85 degrees or 30 Celsius, we're going to take the bread dough and place it into an oiled pan. This pan that I'm using is nine and a quarter by five and a quarter by two and three quarters. You can choose any bread pan ap appropriate for your bread. I press it down. I'm going to cover it with plastic. This is to keep it from drying out during the rising process. And I'm going to place it now into the oven to rise. It's been about an hour since we put in our LC white bread into the oven. Let's take a look and see how it looks. Ah, it looks good. It's risen over the top of the pan and we are ready for baking. We're going to go and set our temperature to 375 degrees, which is uh, 190 degrees Celsius. And we're going to put our bread loaf now in on a higher rack. And we are going to bake for 30 to 32 minutes. Okay, so let's check our bread. It's been in the oven for 30 minutes. You can tap on the top and hear if it ho has like a, a hollow, a little hollow sound. And that will let you know that it's pretty much ready. Nice and brown. And we'll bring it out here and set it to cool for just a moment. Okay, now that the bread is cooled, we're going to turn the bread out of the pan, place it on the cutting board, and we're ready to slice it and see how it looks. Here we are. Thank you for watching our instructional video. You can get our LC white bread mix at foldacarbs.com. You can view our other instructional videos on YouTube.